Hey guys, today is pretty dreary and has been a little bit uneventful, but I thought we would do something a little bit different and uh, I wanted to show you guys my evening barn routine, more like PM chores. We always do morning barn routines and morning chores together, but today I wanted to do the evening routine with you guys and uh, we got kind of like a wintry day. The grass is growing, but the temperatures say otherwise, it's pretty chilly. So at this point in the day, I would say the majority of chores have been done. We may still at this point have some afternoon or evening lessons. Today we don't because it's been raining today. But uh, I've mucked twice. So I muck in the morning, the stalls from overnight. And then at lunchtime, I just kind of do like a pick through muck to try to make my life easier. The barn gets swept after the morning activities and then most of the horses currently as we're going into spring get worked like late morning. My boss goes and trains horses for a couple hours in the afternoon and I take care of odds and end tasks that need to be done. So all of that stuff is kind of wrapped up today. As I get ready to close down for the evening, what I need to do is bring horses in, feed, uh, turn horses out, remuck, and uh, he's being silly, and then throw hay to the horses that are turned out outside. Usually, when I start the afternoon, I do have two kids that are helping me at times. Uh, they're not here today, but when they get here to start the last like hour of the day of chores, they throw down hay to feed out for the evening. The other more evening chore, other than like repicking stalls or whatnot, is that we are now picking the paddocks. So you may be able to see this front square area. That front square area is like scraped clean multiple times a year. So we try to pick the front, just the front portion of the paddock <laughs> um, every day and then we put in two new stone dust paddocks which I'll show you guys and we are also picking those paddocks because they're more like medicine paddocks they're just have a good stone dust foundation there's no grass or mud or anything so we want to keep those super clean so we're picking those four paddocks every day as well as a evening chore but I have a couple kids that kind of help me out at the barn and uh, they usually do those two chores for me, so I'm not going to be picking paddocks today. They are going to do that chore. But I am throwing hay just for the sake of the vlog. <laughs> so I will stack that hay on the Kubota and at the back of the barn to feed out dinner. As you can see, the horses that are going to come in, their stalls are already prepped. And the horses and stalls right now are relatively clean as well. So I've been really keeping on top of that. We have been hanging hay nets in the stone dust paddocks. You'll see just again to keep them clean, so I filled those hay nets. I'm not gonna pick paddocks for you guys today. You can see I've already picked this paddock, and uh, so that's kind of what it looks like. So now that the hay is stacked uh, and ready to feed out at the end of the day, I'm gonna start soaking dinner. So, Right now, as we transition, all of the horses are getting soaked meals just because the seasons are changing and the weather's changing all the time. I like to make sure they get some extra water. So I'm gonna soak the dinner meals and then I will start moving horses around as needed.
So while dinner soaks, I'm gonna bring the horses that are on day turnout in so that I can feed everybody dinner together. And then I put horses out and feed more horses and muck and it's just a continuous cycle, but let's do that now. Also, you'll notice this time of day and in the morning or when I do blanket changes. Flowey Pot leaves in a week to go to the foaling barn. I'm gonna miss her. But uh, we're not really equipped to full out here, especially during show season, so. I feel like you can't tell how big she really is in the video, but she is large. Okay, now everybody gets grain. While the horses are eating dinner, I usually utilize this time to remake grain if I need to. Um, I can start mucking Doppler's stall because sometimes slash most of the time he goes out before everyone else. He can't really be inside a whole day. And lately I've been using this time while horses are eating to Dr. Storm, so I'm gonna do that as well while I'm waiting for all the horses to finish their grain. I also try to utilize this time that they're eating to get them dressed to go out if they're on overnight turnout. Like Richie. Okay, so pretty much everyone is done eating. I'm gonna start turning out now. Okay, so these are our new stone dust paddocks. Sorry if the lens gets a little foggy. So we can hang hay nets. We took this one really large paddock and split it in half into two more like medicine type paddocks, which has been great. Okay, so once I finish turning horses out, I re-pick the stalls and then I'm going to hay the other horses that live out. And we're almost done. Okay, so now that the barn is remucked and the stalls are prepped for tomorrow and I swept, um, it's just time to hay. That's usually the last thing I do. And then we're done with PM chores.
if I know it's gonna rain, I try to put their hay in and around their shed, which is why I'm way over here. Anyways, pretty much wraps up. Chores, Staffy's coming to see us. Hi, I don't have any cookies. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed seeing my evening routine and I'll see you guys next time.